Grand Rapids High School is now switching to online learning after a COVID outbreak at the high school. Over a dozen students, many of them members of the varsity basketball team, have tested positive for the virus. News 8's Joe Lafergi is live at East Grand Rapids High School with details tonight. Joe? Yeah, Sue, just a short time ago, we learned from some parents here in the district that the uh, school has been put on virtual learning next Monday and Tuesday. Now, we're still awaiting some official word from school officials. We've made several calls throughout the day to both the superintendent and the high school principal. We have not heard back from them. Meantime, Kent County health officials are keeping a close eye to hoping that the COVID doesn't spread beyond the student population. The first case was confirmed about a week ago. As of today, 16 East Grand Rapids High students have tested positive. We are tracking to see what kind of contact did they have either in school or outside of the school that caused this outbreak. Many, but not all, are on the boys' varsity basketball team. Their next four games are postponed, but in-person classes at the school remained in session today. Right now, the infections appear to be limited to students. Of the symptomatic cases, none of them have been serious enough to require hospitalization, but the numbers have public health officials concerned. This is a very substantial outbreak. 16 positives in this short a period of time is um, not something we see frequently. The health department is also testing for COVID variants. Those results won't be back for at least a week. All of this raising the question, is the push from Governor Whitmer and others to resume in-person learning a good idea? From the beginning, we said we want to make sure that kids are safe and we must look at safety in a broad construct. Godfrey Lee School Superintendent Kevin Polston has advised the governor on education and COVID, including a return to in-person learning. He points to data that suggests school outbreaks like the one in East Grand Rapids are the exception, not the rule, and that the impact of keeping kids at home also carries risk. Yeah, what we've seen is from the CDC's report in October that mental health referrals were up 30% through the pandemic of school-aged children. And we've seen that kids really want to be engaged with their peers and their teachers in person. Hoganson, who's the liaison between the Kent County Health Department and local school districts, agrees. If we can identify quickly where the outbreaks occur and get those kids in isolation and the other, uh, the other uh, students into uh, quarantine, we're going to try to keep as many students in school that we possibly can. And again, the word we're getting from parents is the high school will go virtual Monday and Tuesday, still awaiting official word from school leaders. And if even when we get that, we'll pass it on. Live in East Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, News 8.